Good morning to my kindergartners. How are you this morning? It is Monday the 19th. Hope everyone is well. So glad to see you again. It's Mr. Kutke, science teacher. How are you? Well, let's get started. Last week we talked about the five senses a little bit. We're going to get more into the five senses as time goes on. But today, we're going to switch a little bit and we're going to look at how animals use their bodies. We know that we have the five senses that people use and animal use these senses as well. The sense of sight, the sense of hearing, the sense of touch, the sense of smell, and the sense of taste. They have the five senses as well. Some of them have them uh, where they are much better than human beings, and some of them maybe not so. But today, we're going to talk about the parts of animals and how they work. So how do animals use their bodies? Well, animals use their bodies in many different ways. Uh, in terms of animals moving, we know that we have legs and most mammals have legs to move. But some animals use different types of body parts to move. As you see here, fish have fins to swim. Birds have wings to fly. So a fish uses an, kind of an underwater wing to fly. It is basically the same idea as the wing of a bird, but it is used in a different environment. It is used underwater, so it has a different look. Let's take a look at how a bird's wing works. You know that they flap very fast they have to have some strong muscles. Let's take a look at how a wing works. You're going to need specialized muscles to move those wings. So your pectoral muscles in particular are going to be very large. Hundreds of muscles, tendons, and ligaments power a diverse range of wing movements. The centerpieces of this system are the flight muscles, pectoralis major, and beneath it, supracoracoideus. Together, they form the engines of avian flight. When the pectoral muscles contract, they pull the humerus bone in each wing down, creating thrust and lift. In immediate response, the supracoracoideus, connected by a tendon to the top of the humerus, works like a pulley to lift the wing every time the muscle contracts. This is another terrific design because this pulley system eliminates the need for a large, heavy muscle above the shoulder to lift the wing back up. Instead, the flight muscles are all below the wings where they help create a compact center of gravity that really stabilizes the bird's body in the air. Now, again, I wanted you just to look at the video. Obviously, the language is very advanced, but the video is what I wanted to, you to get a look at. These birds have muscles that bring those wings up and down. It takes a lot of energy to move those wings up and down. A fish fin works just in the same way but instead of going up and down they go side to side 
let's take a look at another way that animals use their bodies. Well, we know that cats have ears, and we know that horses have legs, and eagles have eyes to see. Well, let's see how some of those things are used. We know how wings are used. Let's take a look at this about hearing. Today we're going to read Sound and Light by Boss Science Resources. Animal ears and hearing. You may hear animals outdoors. Animals make and receive sound. They often communicate with each other. Each animal has structures for receiving sound. Many animals have ears. You have two ears. Each human ear has an ear flap. The ear flap helps us hear pop For animals have different ear structures. Horses have tall ears. A horse can move its ears. It can turn its ears toward a sound. This is a red fox. It has a bushy tail and big pointy ears. Fox ears are good sound receivers. The fox hunts for small animals. It listens for the This is a kadoo. It lives in Africa. The kadoo listens for lions and leopards. It runs away when it hears them. Do you know what animal has the biggest ears of all? The African elephant has huge ears. It can hear other elephants far away. Do you recognize these animals? One is a seal. The other is a sea lion. Can you tell them apart? The sea lion has small ear flaps. Seals just have ear holes. Seals and sea lions catch and eat fish. Can the fish hear them coming? Fish do not have ears, but fish can feel vibration. The lateral lung on their side senses vibration. This structure helps fish detect other animals. Thinking about animal ears and hearing. What can we learn from animal ears to help us hear? Now, as you see, animals have different types of ears to hear. Some are larger, some are smaller. They are different shapes and sizes depending on where the animal is and what the animal has to think about. Some animals, like rabbits, have very large ears because... They have to hear any birds that might want to attack them. So, ears come in different shapes and sizes. Animals also use legs to move. Just like we have wings and fins, we also have legs to move. Let's take a look a little bit about legs. How fast can a human being run? Research shows that human beings can run as fast as 40 miles an hour, but the sprint speed is approximately 13 miles an hour. However, a 13 mile per hour sprint is not sufficient to win a race with some of the fastest animals in the world. In the wild, speed is essential for survival. A predator must run faster than its prey, or it dies of hunger, and the prey must run faster than the predator, or it becomes a meal. The slowest animals have to be smart enough to outwit their predators. 
Here are 10 of the fastest animals on this planet. Number 10. How Lions. fast can a human being Top run? Speed, Research shows that human beings can run the as fast as 40 miles an hour. An animal. But the sprint the speed calls approximately. The lion pride can contain 15 to 40 members. They also hunt in the group, which increases the success rate. During chasing, a lion can attain a maximum speed of 50 miles per hour. But they can only keep this pace for a short distance. Number 9. Wildebeest. Top speed, 50 miles per hour. Blue wildebeest are grass-eating mammals native to South and East Africa. They grow to a height of 1.3 meters. The strong legs and shoulders help them to gain speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. The speedy movement helps blue wildebeest find shelters from predators and make migration easy. They're normally found in groups and migrate in the dry season to wetlands in search for grass. Number 8. Quarter Horse Top speed, 55 miles per hour. The quarter horse is one of the oldest horse breeds in the United States. Bred for its speed, agility, and performance, even its name refers to its capabilities. The name quarter horse comes from the horse's success in racing across quarter mile horses in the 17th century. The quarter horse could outpace other famous racing breeds, such as the Arabian or Thoroughbred. And given that the quarter horse can reach speeds up to 55 miles per hour, it's not hard to see how. As its name suggests, it can't maintain the speed for too long. But for short sprints, there's no faster horse in the world. Number 7. Springbok. Top speed, 55 miles per hour. Springboks are exceptionally fast and can attain speeds of 55 miles per hour. They can also make sharp turns when running and jump up to 13 feet through the air. They are antelopes belonging to the gazelle tribe and can be found in southern Africa. Their name comes from the Afrikaans and Dutch words for spring, meaning jump, and bok meaning male antelope or goat. They don't have great endurance over long distances. The spring bok is also the national symbol of South Africa. Number 6. Pronghorn Antelope Top speed, 61 miles per hour. Pronghorn antelope is the North American native animal that can run very long distance with a speed of 61 miles per hour. Unlike other fast-moving animals, pronghorn antelope have the ability to run fast at the same time can travel long distance without getting tired. Pronghorn antelope grow up to a height of 3 feet, have very strong legs and shoulders. Pronghorn antelopes make a 300 mile long migration in the different seasons. Number 5. Sailfish Top speed, 70 miles per hour. There is somewhat of a quandary concerning the fastest animal in the ocean. Some researchers say the sailfish, while others say the black marlin. Both can reach speeds of around 70 miles per hour. Others would also put the swordfish in this category, suggesting that they can reach similar speeds. Sailfish have very prominent dorsal fins that give them their name. They're typically blue to gray in color with a white underbelly. In addition to their speed, they're also known as great jumpers. They eat smaller fish like anchovies and sardines. Number 4. Cheetah Top speed, 75 miles per hour. The fastest animal on land is the cheetah. Cheetahs can get up to approximately 75 miles per hour. Interestingly, the chases for prey by cheetahs meet success within 40 to 60 seconds. Cheetahs make use of their tails to steer the right direction of the run. The prey of cheetah have to have a number of adaptations to try to avoid this speedy predator on the savanna. Cheetahs typically eat gazelles and other similar type animals. The cheetah has a long stride and a flexible body, both of which are ideal for sprinting. Number 3. Spur-winged goose. Top speed, 88 miles per hour. Spur-winged goose is the largest group in the goose family native to South Africa, are 40 inches long and weigh up to 8 kilograms. These geese can fly with a maximum speed of 88 miles per hour and are mainly found in wetlands, the bank of rivers, and lakes in Africa. The spur-winged goose also makes a migration ranging to several hundreds of kilometers in different seasons. Number 2. Golden Eagle Top speed, 200 miles per hour. This large yet powerful bird of prey is the second fastest creature on Earth. They're known for flying to great heights and for astonishing speed. During a dive to catch prey, this amazing bird achieves an outstanding speed of 200 miles per hour. It's the sharp talons and the amazing speed of the dive which help golden eagles to catch their prey. Number 1. Peregrine Falcon Top speed, 240 miles per hour. The absolute fastest animal on the planet is the peregrine falcon. 
It is both the fastest animal on the planet as well as the fastest bird. It can reach speeds of over 240 miles per hour when it dives. The falcon is a very adept hunter, due in large parts to its tremendous diving speed. Peregrine falcons typically eat other birds, but have been observed eating small reptiles or animals, and under certain conditions, insects. That concludes our video of the 10 fastest animals on this planet. Were you surprised? Now, as you can see, many of those animals have legs, those fastest animals. The fastest animals in the world are birds because they fly, and you can fly a lot faster than you can walk. But the fastest animal on land looks like the cheetah. So, we've talked about how animals hear, how wings work, how legs work to move animals around. But animals also have eyes. Let's see how eyes are used in animals. Did you know that pigeons have better vision than us? Have you ever wondered how animals and birds actually see the world? What do fish see when they look at us? This video will explain all these to the smallest details. Snakes. Vision of snakes differs the most from ours. They sense thermal signatures. Due to the infrared sensitive receptors on their snouts, some snakes can see the radiated heat of warm blooded mammals. Cows. Cows don't see colors as clearly as humans. You've probably never heard about this. They see the world in a red-orange color scheme. Also, cows don't like when someone suddenly approaches them because everything appears much bigger than usual to them. Horses. There is a blind spot where horses can't see at all, directly in front of their faces. This is because of their eye location. Also, horses don't see as many colors as we do. Their world is mostly made up of grays, yellows, and blues. Fish. Fish eyes have ultraviolet receptors and a more spherical lens than we have. They see the world in green, red, and blue colors. Deep sea fish can easily see in the dark. As for sharks, they can't distinguish colors at all, but they see much clearer under the water than we do. Birds. As for birds, they have something similar in their vision. Unlike humans, birds can see ultraviolet light. Thanks to the structure of their eyes, they can focus on certain places. For example, birds of prey such as falcons and eagles can see up to a distance of one and a half kilometers. You might just see a field, but a falcon can focus on tiny mouse out there. A pigeon also has a unique vision. They can see all the tiny details. You might just see a road, but a pigeon can distinguish all the smallest cracks in it. Their vision is like a magnifying glass. As for sparrows, they literally look at the world through rose-colored glasses. Sparrows can't distinguish green and blue colors because of the structure of their eyes. Insects. Flies have thousands of individual visual receptors that collectively create a broad field of vision. Also, they see the world in slow motion and can see ultraviolet light. Another insect, a bee, has an unusual vision as well. It's a surprising fact, but bees can't distinguish red color at all. For them, the color red appears to be dark blue. Rats. Rat vision is quite blurry, and they can't see red. They also see the world in slow motion. Each eye moves independently, so they can have two images of the world. Cats. Cats don't distinguish red and green shades, and their world is made up of brown, yellow, and blue shades. The cat's field of view is broader than ours so they can see more on the sides. However, cats can see six times better than us in the dark. Their pupils can expand, adapting to any lighting. Dogs. Dogs can't see red and orange colors, but they clearly see blue and violet, as well as ultraviolet light. Moreover, they are able to differentiate 40 shades of gray. Frogs. Frogs can notice only moving objects. They can literally starve to death in the abundance of food if the food does not move. 
Frogs can also focus only on certain things, so they don't concentrate on what they don't need. For example, shadows. Chameleons. The eyes of chameleons can rotate in different directions independently, so they have a 360 degree field of vision. They see two images at the same time, one in the front and the other one behind. Have these facts impressed you? Let us know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up, and if you're and as you can see, we have a tremendous amount of different types of eyesight in animals. They don't see like we do. We happen to have uh, an amazing ability to see colors. Most animals don't. One last thing I want to talk about. We talked about fins, wings, ears, legs, but animals also have body coverings. What does that mean? Well, in this case, to cover means to protect. Uh, whether it's a human being that has skin, or a snail that has a shell, or a snake that has scales, or an otter, or a dog, or a cat that has fur, or a bird that has feathers, we all have body coverings. Let's take a look. Grammarly helps make your writing clear and concise, no matter where you are. Compose a cover letter. Hello, my name is Kylie, and welcome to Fur, Feathers, Scales, or Skin. All living things have different types of things covering their bodies. Let's learn about the different kinds. Ready to go undercover to find out more? Let's get started. covering or outside of your body is called? It's not a sweater, t-shirt, dress, or pants. It's skin. Human beings have skin covering our bodies. Take a look at the skin on your arm. What do you notice? What are some words you can use to describe your skin? Did you say smooth? Our skin is smooth most of the time because it is not bumpy. It can be a little bumpy if you get goosebumps. Goosebumps happen when we get a chill or get excited. We call them goosebumps because they look like the skin of a goose without their feathers. We have skin to protect our bodies from the outside world and keep us from getting sick. Our skin also helps us to keep warm in the winter and cool in the summer. What about the skin of different kinds of animals? Let's take a look at a rabbit. What do you notice? Rabbits, yes, have fur covering their skin. Fur is made up of a lot of hair. We have hair on our bodies too, but not as much as a rabbit. Rabbit fur is soft and cuddly. They have this fur to keep them warm in the winter and protected from rain and bugs in the summer. Here is an antelope. They have hair covering the skin on their bodies, but their hair is not very soft. If you were to rub it, it would feel rough and not cuddly at all. This rough hair helps the antelope keep dry and cool in the summer, like a sunshade, and warm in the winter, like a warm coat. They don't have to change clothes like us. Neat. Let's see, hmm, what has feathers? Did you say birds? Right, good job. Birds have covering feathers all over them. Their feathers grow out of their skin and are made out of the same stuff as fingernails. Feathers do a lot of different things. Most birds, like this blue jay, use their feathers to fly. I bet you know the name of this bird that uses its feathers to swim and not fly. Yes, you're right, it's a penguin. Penguins also use their feathers to stay warm and dry too. Ducks use their feathers to fly and to help them stay afloat on top of the water. 
Lizards, snakes, and fish have very different coverings from humans, rabbits, birds, and other animals. They have scales. Scales are also made up of the same thing our fingernails are made up of. Snake scales are not slimy like most people think. They are smooth and can be made of very beautiful colors. Snake skin has scales to help protect the snake if it were to get attacked or rub up against something rough. Their scales are like armor on a knight. Lizards also use their skin in this way. As lizards and snakes grow, they must shed their skin and grow new skin. Their scales cannot grow bigger, and that is why they must grow new ones. Fish also have scales. They do not shed their skin like snakes and lizards. Their scales grow as they get bigger. Look at this fish called a tarpon. And older tarpon scales can be as big as your hand. Insects do not have skin, feathers, fur, or scales as a covering. They wear their skeletons on the outside. Wow! Their covering is called an exoskeleton. Exo means outside. So the next time you see a cricket like this one, you are seeing her skeleton. Insects use their exoskeleton to stay safe. They shed or molt this outer skeleton like snakes because it doesn't grow bigger than the insect. Learning about the different types of animal coverings sure is interesting. What kinds of living things are near you? So there you have it, talking about body parts and coverings. To my parents, I know that that was a lot to cover in one day. Uh, just discuss the videos with your child and uh, have a little bit of a conversation uh, about the videos. Uh, I think that will just happen naturally either way. Um, there was a lot of interesting things to cover. So how do animals use their bodies? They use fins to swim. They have wings to fly. They have ears to hear. Sometimes they use their legs to walk or run, and they have eyes to see. And they also have body covering, scales, shell, fur, skin, and feathers. I miss you all so much. I can't wait to see you in class. That was a long video. I hope everybody was able to stick in there with me. Either way, kindergarten, I miss you very much, and I will see you soon.